I feel like I'm doing some sort of satanic ritual in my kitchen. Have you guys seen the first season of True Detective with all like that, the weird, the demon like things hanging from the trees? That's what I feel like I'm doing over here. If you haven't seen that show, True Detective season one, probably my favorite show in the past few years. Uh, but as you can see, you got a little bit of uh, Frankie Boy. What are you doing over here, man? What's going on? You got something to share with us? Nothing besides my Italian Hercules arms because I had to do a little bit of dirty work to get these open. So, uh, a couple of these, uh, you know, these can go over here. We already got the brains out of these. Get the brain out of this one, I don't think so. This little buddy had better time. I had to eat his eyeballs for another video. So what are you gonna do? Uh, the brain's still in here. And you need a little bit of elbow grease to get these open. But, uh, we got no shortage of that. Or maybe we do. Okay. Frankie boy, still got it. Still got it. Alright, that one's got the brain out. Frankie, what, do you got a collection of lambs in your backyard? What's going on? Okay, hold on. Almost done, guys. One more. One more. Okay. You guys having fun yet? I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. Brains are the preferred animal food universally. There are stories of deer eating birds' brains out of like birds caught in nets. There's many preferences showing, uh, you know, in, I mean, even in humans and cannibalistic cultures of people eating brains of other, you know, killing each other just to eat the brains. There's uh, something to be said about the nutrient content of brain and just how incredibly high in DHA it is how high in cholesterol and how concentrated in saturated fat and other nutrients it is. Uh, and it's, it's really the only source of uh, DHA in a ruminant animal that is substantial. Uh, the only real food comparable to wild caught fish. So if you're not eating wild caught fish, if you're not eating a lot of marrow tissue, if you're not eating a lot of high quality fat, it can be difficult to get your DHA in. Unfortunately, I don't have that problem, but uh, the point is that uh, humans would have scavenged brain tissue from corpses uh, and they would have, check out my high meat video where I, I'm going to eat some rotten brain, but uh, it, it definitely would have been a little funky by the time we would have gotten to it. But the thing about brain tissue is that it's closed in a skull and not a lot of animals might have been able to get to it, whereas we would have. You know, crack it open with a rock. And I believe brain tissue is the main reason we kind of evolved. It is a calorically and nutritionally dense source of food. So not only is it incredibly high in energy and saturated fat, it's also high in DHA, brain building nutrients. A brain has a lot of vitamin C and a lot of vitamin E, the vitamins that typically aren't obtained in large amounts on a carnivore diet. Uh, for you guys having concerns about like prion diseases, uh, mad cow disease, there's a lot of information to be read about that. but. Uh, BSE mad cow disease is a mutant form of the prion disease uh, that manifests in cows older than three years. And uh, the reason it's transmissible to humans is because of the mutation. They fed cow meal to cows. That's my understanding of that. So there is a danger in eating old cow's brains. And in regards to getting it from scrappy, which is the version of mad cow in lamb or sheep or goats, it's not transmissible. It's never been shown to be transmissible to humans. Same with the form in pigs, humans can't get. If humans could get mad cow disease or scrappy from these animals, we'd be seeing many more. There's never been a case of it in the United States. It's all been from meat in other countries. Uh, not only that, the only real way to get Creutzfeldt Jakob's disease, which is mad, a human form of mad cow disease, is to, you have it genetically or you get it from infected human brain tissue, i.e. you're a brain surgeon and you lick a scalpel. That's the only real way to get it. Uh, so I don't really have any concerns about prion diseases, but... I'm 
very rich cholesterol-y texture and flavor. Mild laminess, very mild in flavor. Raw animal foods are always super mild in flavor, and then they have certain textures and tastes depending on the nutrient content of it. In this case, it's super rich in cholesterol, which means it has a substantial vitamin E and a DHA content, just like egg yolks do. Uh, another reason to not be concerned about BSD or mad cow disease is because if the animal's infected, it's in all tissues in all parts of the animal. It might be concentrated more in the spinal cord and the brain, but a lot of people that do get the disease, they get it from eating muscle meats or skeletal muscle. Very important note to keep in mind. How a caveman would have loved to be me, right? Now, you know, brain is an excellent source of DHA. I believe the data I looked at said around 700 milligrams per 100 grams of brain tissue. Of course, fish roe is a little more concentrated, but it's definitely one of the real only sources of DHA we can get in large amounts. Of course, you don't have to get, use it for DHA. You could use other methods, but I like, I like it. It's easy for me to get. I wouldn't say it's necessary. It definitely is a traditional food. I mean, brain and eggs. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of that before. I did a lamb brain carpaccio in a video. I put a lamb brain on top of some chopped up lamb meat. That was funny. But I think that's pretty much it. If you guys, you know, the nutrient content of brain is really focusing on DHA, vitamin E, some vitamin C. I'm sure there's more amounts of vitamin A and maybe even vitamin D as well, depending on how fresh it is. And I think in regards to the mineral profile, it might be really high in something like selenium. Uh, but main focus here, guys, is DHA. You know, if we're looking for other minerals, other vitamins, there's other parts of the animal that are better for this, but I think brain tissue definitely played a paramount role in our evolution and development. Secondarily, maybe bone marrow as well, and then our ability to manifest, uh, you know, and then our ability to kind of improve our hunting skills to be able to procure larger amounts of fat and meat. But initially through evolution, I think these were the prized parts of the animal. If you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. If you guys would like to reach out to my buddy Kenny at Vincent's Meat Market, thanks for getting me this stuff, Kenny. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for all the organ meats and stuff you guys get me. Whether you want liver or brain, they have good high quality stuff. Also check out my website, frank-stefano.com if you guys want to reach out to me for diet consults, maybe you want some help sourcing some food. And then my Amazon shop has other things that, you know, if you don't want, if you don't want to get this, my Amazon shop has some cod liver that's just as great of a source of DHA and omega-3 as this.